Welcome to update 3.1 of the Stream Deck Media plugin. In this update, there are some bug fixes for buttons and some new features for dials. So let's have a look at the generic media action, where there is now a title field, where you can add a title for your dial, and you can change the text color for the title and for the value if needed. Where and how the title is displayed depends on the layout. For faders, the default behavior is to move the title if it would otherwise interfere with the fader handle. But you can change that behavior to either have it hidden instead or simply stay in place. Another new feature is the option to have a translation file for the value display, so you can have your own values displayed. The final new feature is an endless dial. This will send the same command for each step of the dial. You can have one command for clockwise rotation and another command for counterclockwise rotation. This is a send-only function. It doesn't listen for incoming MIDI commands. The next new feature is a multimedia action. This enables you to have up to four generic media actions on a single dial. In the editor you have four items, where each item is a complete generic media action, with some minor restrictions. You cannot have horizontal bars, and you cannot have state icons, because there is simply no space for it. When you activate new items, the display area for the dial is divided to accommodate the number of activated items. The dial will control one item at a time, and the controlled item can be highlighted in various ways. In this case, I have a gel frame around the active item. So when I use the dial, I will control the highlighted item. If I want to control the other item, I simply tap it on the display, and now I can control that item. As you activate more items, they will be added to the display, and when all four items are activated, the display is pretty crowded. In the display option, you have an option to dim all the non-selected items in order to have the selected item stand out. And if you have a configuration with four V-Pots, you can choose if you want to have them displayed in a straight line or in a jagged line. In this example, I have connected my dials to the volume faders in my mixer. So I can control that, and if I press the dial to get to the next instance in the stack, I can control the panning of the channels. You can configure it this way, where you have a view of 16 mixer channels at the same time. One final note about the multimedia action. If you tap at the very bottom of the display, you can disable all items. So if I move the dial now, nothing happens. You can use this if you want to lock a dial and not by accident cause any changes. To re-enable the dial, you simply tap one of the items. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.